All right. I got the alpha for today. Take these off real quick. Three projects I think you should keep an eye out for. The second one, not so much, but first one seems to be the main thing for you guys of alpha. Alpha, alpha, alpha. We all like that alpha. I'm just speaking to you all in alpha. Enough blabbering around. Oh, let's get right into this video. This might be a longer one. It might be above plus seven minutes, but hey, whatever you want to do, do it. The first project I'd love to talk about because, man, this project was one of the first projects I ever made a nice profit off is the hub. Bees, bro. This project brings so much memories back, and I think it is honestly due for a comeback. If anything, although the founder is questionable, I don't have a problem with him. I think he's a really great guy. I still think the Habibis could possibly make a comeback, whether you like it or not. Floor price right now, we're sitting at a point two floor price. The supply is much smaller than most projects. It is a 4,900 supply. Volume is very high up there. Blue chip index isn't the prettiest. We've seen a six. It's only a 16% listed though. I mean, for 64 listed out of 4,900, you have to be doing something right with your project. And then sales obviously hasn't been the most yet. This is definitely, you know, definitely coming back. I think not definitely again, this NFA do, do your own research for all these projects, but hey, I'm just saying the Habibis, the Habibis, let's fix it right here. Move this right here for y'all. So the Habibis, had some, you know, let's see, this little accumulation right here. Ever since the beginning of December, we've seen, you know, it stagger around this 0.1 floor price, you know, going here until January 5th, when Ramos started to show again that he's, you know, like he, he has that utility. He's got that. He's got it on him. He's got the alpha on him. We all started to go, well, hold on. Let's maybe, maybe Habibis is a, maybe Habibis is a place. So we saw it 2x go up to a 0.23, come down to a 0.179. And it's now chilling at this point, 2.9 area. I mean, Habibis has beautiful art. I mean, if you don't love the Habibis art, racist or something. No? I don't know. Hey, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Look more into it. We can't see overview. The floor price again. Uh, let's look at the 30 day floor price. It has, you know, kind of gone the sideways downtrend until, until recently. And as well as listings have gone down though. So we're seeing the floor price start to move up and the listings go down. So something has to be right but the blue chip index is at this sort of downtrend as we can see here, dropping below today as a bunch, as a LO's 16%. And holders, though, seems to be going up a bit. Not the most, but it's going up. Blue chip index again going down. And whale seems to be going in a bit of a sideways. So, again, keep an eye out for this. So, holders, nothing really crazy. Blue chip owners, nothing crazy again because, you know, obviously, you know, nothing really going on here. So, uh, before I get into like the the blur looking or looking at the blur, I'm just gonna read out to you some of the benefits you get from holding a Habibis. So again, hey, I'm just doing this out of the courtesy of my heart. Habibi chat, you get that for the holders. You get the BB chat for BBs. You get shit coins. You get crypto stocks chat. You get the Habibis whale chat for the whales. Habibi votes wellness. <laughs> Only fans chat and the Tinder chat. You get Ramos Riz. That's why they call it the Ramo Riz. <laughs> Chad, because you're getting Ramos Riz, I'm guessing, as the alpha as well. Council chat, nothing really else important. But the main thing you want to look look into is the alpha you get. I mean, this is honestly, I'm literally just saying this because of how much I do like this project. I think it's one of the best ran projects. I'm just going to say there, one of the greatest because the, the amount of utility you get for this project is amazing. You get the oil, you buy whitelist projects. I mean, the way Ramo ran this project was phenomenal, phenomenal. And then obviously some bad things happened and we're not going to talk about those bad things. And then after people started to fall, not fall in love with Ramo. I, I, I've always been a fan. I never really had a problem with him until, you know, everyone started hating on him. So, you know, why you got to hate on the guy, even though he did some questionable things. Enough talking, enough talking. So if we look at the blur chart, we can see again, same, same things. You know, we got some, we got some pretty... Pretty nice rare ones sitting just a bit above the floor if you're interested in those. And another thing I'd like to talk about too is BBs. These are very, very cheap. They're like down tremendous compared to BBs, obviously, because of the second collection. But you got a pretty nice rare one over here in the top 10% sitting for only 0.009 more. I mean, you could probably set an offer out for like 0.015 and when someone, someone will get a, like a buy. See, this one was sold today for a 0.01, which is kind of a steal, let's be honest. Not that much volume for the BBs. Again, I think these are a much longer hold. Even with the BBs, I think that if you're willing to get in, it is a much longer hold. But again, you have a utility, you get alpha. There's so much beautiful things that come with the BBs. That's why I'm such a fan of them. 
The second project is more of a super degen project. Feed picks, these things have been trending all over the weekend, and these things have officially moved to like a 0.06 floor price. I wouldn't be surprised if we see these things retrace a bit because a 0.06 floor price compared to how many listings it will take to get to a 0.1 is a lot, even though it's you know it's a double like a 2x jump. 512. That's a lot. I don't think there's that much volume to see this thing make a move today or tomorrow. Could be a sort of a another hold as we do see a lot of people start to come into this. The blue chip index has gone up massively, I'm pretty sure. But maybe this thing could touch a point one. I don't know if we'll see this uh go because there are so many paper handers, if you just want to say that. Overview lit floor has just gone up. It's just been on uptrend, but listings have also gone down kind of blue chip index look from yesterday yeah from we'll say yesterday two days ago okay has almost it's almost tripled it's tripled it's pretty much tripled and if we look at the holders whales they've just kind of stayed the same blue chip index has you know as well gone up i don't know it's kind of a dgem play it's whatever you feel like you you know if you want to get into it get into it if not don't Third project is one that, again, I should have talked about way before is Renga. I mean, I did talk about it before. And it was at a 0.88 floor price. Then it went out to a 2. And then I guess it was done by that time. I mean, it's a 50% blue chip index, which is amazing to see. 1.86 floor price. Kind of, you know, the higher supply than most projects. Not most projects, but the higher supply. 28.6k volume. A lot. Again, I just talked about a 50% blue chip index. Listings, kind of, you know, at that 12%, but for a high supply project, you know, no surprise. Volume is there. We still get a lot of supplies, every, uh, uh, bias every single day. And uh, I mean, just look at this chart. It is whales after whales buying. And we've seen it go all the way up from a 0.11 floor price all the way up to a 0.8. Is this the top? I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if it did re re retrace a bit. So don't be afraid to wait a bit if you're interested in getting into Renga. That's pretty much it for the alpha. Talk about crypto quickly. Uh, no surprise. Well, kind of a surprise we did see you know a little bit of a bounce here from the little resistance we saw over here touch it again we boosted up because of that support we saw and now we're breaking this resistance if we will break out or will we not we'll probably see ourselves go all the way up here again to the 1600 which seems to be the next highest resistance or i don't know. don't don't shoot me i'm just the messenger i'm not the crypto guy i'm sorry i should be better i know uh volume phenomenal over 10 million dollar days i did say if once we pass that five million dollar days we'll see the seven to eight then we'll see the nine to ten million dollar days which we are sort of seeing right now but more we're seeing like 11 to 15 and quick top 10 open uh trades i'm going to talk about wonky stocks is definitely something i'll probably talk about tomorrow <laughs> one that caught my attention was that gobble goals this project looks so funny man i wish i bought into this project before the gobble goals <laughs> i love this i love this is amazing that's it simple video not so simple alpha aim in a video hope y'all enjoyed i mean i love you so much have a good day good night i love you god loves you good day good night